Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. Okay, so we are here to do Scorpio's reading. Just did Pisces and Cancer. Wanted to get these out to you as soon as possible. I know that the 1st of May is tomorrow. And this is for the first half of May, okay? So I did not want to prolong this any longer. You need your reading, okay? So let's get this out to you for Scorpio. All right, I pre shuffle, but get it to you again for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, for Scorpio. Good. All right, what do we have here for Scorpio? Oh, spiritual connection. Did someone else have this card? Let's see. Right. You can get emotional whirlwind, okay? Affected, dramatic, unstable, okay? So... Things might be an emotional whirlwind here the first half of May, Scorpio, but I feel like you're going to be fine, okay? It could be an emotional whirlwind, whirlwind in a positive direction or, yeah, one day, someday, somewhere, another time, okay? So, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but we're going to clarify, see exactly what's going on with the spiritual connection, all right? Lust, intensity, sexual energy, non-committal, okay? Maybe you feel like someone is is showing more lust in the situation than love, okay? Pretend, mask, bluff. All right, and then you have clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching. All right. Right behind spiritual connection was despair. All right. Falling apart. Oh wow. This is spiritual connection here, Scorpio, that um you are attached to okay i can see now that you you know you're holding on to this or maybe they're holding on to you and you want this thing to unfold okay you want this thing to come together for scorpio please all right for scorpio please Clarify spiritual connection for Scorpio. Clarify spiritual connection for Scorpio. Clarify spiritual connection for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. The Four of Cups there. But we have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Fool. So Scorpio, I feel like this is a connection that you love. You love this person. Okay, with the Queen of Cups energy here, this person is heavy on your mind. With the Page of Swords, this is saying that, you know, this is someone that intrigues your interest or sparks your interest. It's intriguing to you, okay? You also may be spying on them or them spying on you. <laughs> but this is someone that you want to know more about. You probably met this person and the spark was just intense, okay? And so, it's, it's making you, it's giving you this full energy where you just want to see what that's about. Like, you want to just go after this opportunity to have a new start or a fresh start with this spiritual connection, okay? Because maybe you're seeing this as, a missed opportunity like oh I should have or I you know I need to just go after this because mm -hmm. ace of pentacles because um, it's something I truly want so emotional, emo, emotional world win okay is clarified by the ace of pentacles The King of Cups. Emotional wear one, please, for Scorpio. And the Page of Wands. Okay. So you want to um, start a new beginning with this person. Okay. 
you want to start a new beginning you have the king and the queen of cups here all right so that's a, a power couple in love okay that's a couple um that truly love each other okay you care about each other i think this person feels the same about you as well all right someone's going to um send a passionate message here in the first half of may um about how much they love you or vice versa it could be you sending a message and the opportunity to start a true beginning here or start a true relationship start a true connection here okay so that's that message is going to come across but we have one day here so i don't know if someone's gonna be like no i don't you know i don't want to go down that road can you clarify one day please the empress do i want to nurture this situation or not using your intuition to high priestess and what else Mm -hmm. the page of cups all right page of cups could be an apology but it's just an um a, a offer or you know a message of love okay i feel like you're unsure about this message okay maybe you just kind of leery of it um with the empress card here um it's kind of showing that you're leery about or you feel like there's just more that you need to know about this connection, you know, that's probably keeping you from moving forward, okay? Um, the Empress card is like rebirth, starting something new, something fresh, like something move forward. Um, but with the into, uh, with the High Priestess there, you're using, trying to use your intuition to see, like, is this something that I want to embark on or not? Because I think that you think it's all about the booty, lust, Okay. You might feel like, oh, I don't know if this is really true love. I think it's pretty lust here. Let's see what's going on with this lust card for Scorpio. You get the Emperor. Clarify lust for Scorpio. Clarify lust for Scorpio. The Nine of Cups. Clarify Lust for Scorpio. Lust for Scorpio, please. Lust for Scorpio. <laughs> the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Listen. You know this person makes you happy, yes. You probably can definitely see um, happiness with them, okay? You can see the Ten of Pentacles with them, okay? That's a stable, structured, happy family, okay? Full of abundance. But you also had a devil in it. It's something you don't trust, okay? It's something about this person you just don't trust. And you're trying to use your intuition with the high priestess, okay? You're trying to be... Um, you know, embrace a new beginning with the full energy, but it's just something you don't trust. It's keeping you back from moving forward. Okay. But that devil energy there, it could be some addictions there, um, negative thoughts, toxic communication, toxic interaction, but it's just something that's keeping you back. There's a spiritual connection here that you definitely feel, but it's something keeping you back from moving forward and really making this a true partnership. Okay, someone wants that with you. All right, you get the Knight of Pentacles. They want something real. You feel like they're pretending, though. I don't think that you are going to take their um, offer serious. Follow your intuition. Whatever you're feeling, follow it. Okay, pretend. Clarify pretend for Scorpio. To me. The Six of Cups was there, so it could be someone from your past. Okay, you get the star. Mm hmm. And judgment. All right. All right. So, Scorpio, I feel like there's an offer um, coming from someone to start something with you. You are. You definitely have a spiritual connection with this person. You. You feel like you know this is something different okay right or something real you're doubting 
all of what this could be, right? With the um, with the devil card being here, you have to lust and pretend here. You feel like it's not as real or kind of like too good to be true, right? Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, the star and judgment here, I feel like judgment is here to say, no, Scorpio, this is definitely for you, okay? Um, you have a star and you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is your gift from the divine, okay? This is all of what you wish for, all right? So accept it, Scorpio, and stop sabotaging, okay? So you have clinging. Let's clarify clinging for Scorpio, please. Yeah. Clinging on to this connection, Scorpio, with the lovers card. They're clinging on to this connection. They're not going to let you go. You're clinging on too because you feel the spiritual connection. That's in your overall. You feel the spiritual connection. Clarify clinging for Scorpio, please. Clarify clinging for Scorpio, please. Clinging for Scorpio. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. They're coming in quick and they're coming to take action. They're not letting go. And you're not letting go either. Okay. They see, they know what this is. And they're not going to just let you just walk away from them. Even with you using your intuition. Okay. Because they want success. All right. So whoever this is. Let me see what's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. They've taken some time to review this thing. They, they, they know exactly what this could be. All right. So with the lovers card here, you already got the queen and the king of cups. That's a divine partnership. Okay. You also have the lovers here. That clarifies a divine partnership. Spiritual connection is here. That clarifies this is soulmates, divine partnership. They're coming in, okay, passionately to take action towards what they want. They want success with you. And they are going to hold on to that. Okay. With the star here in judgment, I feel like the universe is telling you, yes. Scorpio, go for it. This is what you wanted. This is your wish. You asked for it. Now take it. That's what they're saying. I didn't say it. They said it. All right. Let's clarify. I mean, let's get a, a romance angel for Scorpio, please. Let me shuffle one more time. All right. Don't, don't, don't throw it out. You feel the spiritual connection, Scorpio. Use your intuition. Go with that. Okay. <laughs> Go with that, okay? Go with that feeling. Your gut feeling is telling you. Full Scorpio, please. Full Scorpio, please. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Your signs are cautioning you, okay? Now, don't think that that's saying like, oh, see, I told you it was red flags, did you know? Lust, okay? Somebody's married, wearing a mask. I don't think that, okay? Let's get another one. This is success here. Mm -hmm. heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other I feel like you need to um, express how you feel like there are red flags okay when you guys have that conversation when you guys have um, you know come together to have some dialogue or when they you know bring this offer to you you probably just need to speak up and have a heart to heart conversation and let them know like hey this is what I'm seeing in you that I'm not quite sure about this is what's making me leery towards like going towards you okay just speak up say what's on your mind scorpio okay all right that's what i have for you scorpio this is good somebody's coming in and they want you and they're not letting go but you know what you don't want them to let go either okay so that's what i have for you i hope this helped and i look forward to talking to you guys really soon here in the first half of may enjoy have fun okay talk to you real soon miss you guys already